Hello, and today we are going to explore taxation, indirect taxation. Indirect taxation is tax on expenditure. There are two types of indirect taxes, the ad valorem tax and the unit tax. Um, there are also names, other names for this unit tax, like the specific tax or the flat rate tax. Now, there are two famous examples of this in the UK. We have excise duty and we have VAT, value added tax. So what is the difference between these two taxes? Well, ad valorem tax is a set percentage and it, in essence, basically, as price increases, the a quantity of the tax increases. Whereas in a unit specific, it's a lump sum amount of money. You know, if we look at ad valorem tax like VAT, that's 17.5%. If you buy something £400, you know, you'll pay more than if you buy something £4 because 17.5% of 400 is greater than 4 And in a unit specific tax, it's a lump sum amount. So whether you are buying something for 400 or £4, it makes no difference. You'll probably pay the same amount of tax. Um, for example, if it's £10, you'll pay... £10 on a £4 product and you will pay £10 even if it's a £400 product. It's the same thing. So let's look at the economics of this. Sorry, let me get my board. Okay, so this is a tax diagram. We have price, we have quantity, we have demand and supply. Now let's look at a unit tax, excise duty, tax on alcohol. So now we have S1 here, our original and D, uh, D1 over here and A is our original equilibrium and the, and so far the consumers are buying the alcohol for £6. The government puts in place a tax for £4 so the £6 alcohol should be £10 but it's not because the mark, uh, market equilibrium is saying it should be £8 because that is where demand meets supply. So how did we get that is because the whole supply shifts vertically up by four pounds. So where it should be six, it's now 10 pounds. And the reason why this happens is tax is a way of internalizing costs. In essence, it's increasing the cost of production so that the uh, quantity supply decreases and the price increases. So now if we look at this, right, how are we supposed to work out how much the consumer is paying how much the producers pay, how much does the government get their revenue. Firstly, the easiest thing is government revenue. Now, for government revenue, we know it's £4. So now what is supposed to be £8, if we were making this quantity before the tax, it would have been £4 because it's £4 is the tax. So we have the tax, which is £4, yeah, times by the quantity. Let's say the quantity was £100. The government's getting £400 revenue correct? So now of this revenue £400, how much is coming from the consumer? How much is coming from the producer? Let's find out. The consumer is only seeing the price change from £6 to £4, um, from £6 to £8. They're only experiencing a £2 difference. Therefore, the consumer will be paying £2 extra times by the quantity, which is 100 which is 200 The consumer is supplying half of the government revenue it is giving 200 pounds of the 400 pounds the government is getting so suppose it wasn't equal and we needed to find out how much the producer was um paying the producer incidence how would we do that well the consumer's only seen a two pound price change but actually the tax is four pound so we still have two pound left so that remaining two pound the producer is paying times by the quantity, 100, we get 200 pounds. So in this instant, producer incidence and consumer, I mean, consumer incidence and producer incidence is exactly the same. They are half and half. So, but this is not always the case. They can be different. So now let's quickly have a look at ad valorem taxes, like VAT. So ad valorem tax looks slightly different because you have quantity, price, again you have demand, and you have supply, you have equilibrium A, where over here the expenditure is £5. Then as the price increases, the tax becomes greater, so the two lines are not um, parallel, 
they actually start to diverge they move straight uh, away from each other and let's see what happens so now if we have a tax of um, whatever tax percentage tax VAT there see I haven't done the figures exactly to any percentage I just want to give you a feel for the tax because if there was at five pounds and with the certain percentage increase the taxes now let's say should be 10 pounds right it's not going to be that because uh, supply is reduced but we still need the market equilibrium just like the unit tax so the market equilibrium is now saying the price should be eight pounds it's a similar example to that but i just tried to do something different so we know that that's what it looks like and that's our new one b this is going to be our new market equilibrium to work out government revenue though it's different it's not different it's the same we go to the new equilibrium we go down to c on before the tax what should it have been uh if if we were going to uh, price it at eight pounds oh it was going to be four pounds once again it's a four pound tax if it's a product of eight pounds now so if it's a product of four pounds now the tax uh, with the tax has become eight pounds so if we go down we have four pound difference times by the quantity let's say the quantity is 100 the government revenue is again 400 pounds but let's have a look at the producer and consumer incidents well the consumer is only seeing a difference in this good from five pounds to eight pounds they are only experiencing three pounds of the difference so three pounds times 100 equals 300 pounds this time the consumer is paying 300 pounds of the revenue to the government whereas the producer what we are not seeing is a full tax for this product should be four pounds for this product so if we go down one four pounds and for us uh, so that's a one pound different from the price one pound times a hundred hundred pound so the producer is paying a hundred pounds with the ad valorem tax you have to be careful that because over here what it is it's not the same over here whereas it will be very similar in a unit tax just the prices will be different there the consumer and producer surplus will also be different so this is an ad valorem tax i've tried to be as concise as possible i hope you learned something